like this. I love it. Welcome to the Ekbalam Ruins, which actually translates to Black Panther. <coughs> yes, it does. The ancient Mayan people felt that the Black Panther, the jaguar, was very sacred. And so this was the name of this entire city. right so yes this is the wall on the other side as an artist I just have to appreciate all of the work it's really very beautiful <laughs> okay so now that I've greeted my feline friends we're ready to go ahead and get this crack a lack in going to the bathroom because you always have to go to the bathroom first but I got my ticket gratis yay I'm so happy it works I'm a real resident I'm so happy I'm so happy yes so this is the deal all residents can get in for free on Sundays all Mexican residents and I qualify. This is the first time ever using this benefit since I became a resident. So yeah, I'm feeling really good. I actually am getting in here free when admission is like more than 500 pesos. It's like yes! 50 pesos or something. So that is winning. So once you enter first, you'll see the artisanry and then you'll see the entrance of the cenote. I myself have been here maybe about four or five times, so I know it very well. I don't really care for that cenote. It doesn't resonate for me. I won't get into it now. Okay, so and now we're about to come up on the shaman. So this is a very sacred site for me, and I always get a purification with the shaman. I have a video of it. I'll post it below, but this time I'm not going to videotape it. And here is the top bird. The top birds are what we commonly see in the cenotes. They're very beautiful, and they're known for their tail in the back there. There's actually a legend about the top bird, and I have made a video on that, so I will show that below also. I'm not going to tape it this time. Maybe I'll show it. Oh wow, the Pavo de Encanto, um, they have um, yeah, they have a fan with a peacock. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yes. So I just finished my purification, and now we're walking to the ruins. Here's a, a map. Let's look at it here. This is the map here. Yeah. Oh, so there's a trail. Interesting. But we're going to go this way. Everybody's going. Just look at that. Gorgeous. And no one would protest. This is the first time that I've come and they have signs. Dun, dun, dun. 
Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to mix in video of me climbing all these things that they say you can't climb now. So that's <coughs> part of what made it so magical here. You can climb to the very top. I think you can now at, at the very top. You can go in those rooms, which I'm not going to right now. Hmm. I see. So they have like a, a way that they want people to walk. Looks like. I'm going to take a picture with my butterfly wings at the top. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is in my jungle. I'm going to try this. Yeah, I didn't come here just to, you know, walk around like normal people, you know. I've come here lots of times, so I got to elevate this experience, so I brought the butterfly wings. Take it to a whole new level. like an iguana hangout. It's like an iguana family over here. Okay. Oh, you guys live in there? Okay. All right. All right. Oh, yeah. Lots of information. So yes, if you ever want to come to the pyramids, don't do it in the middle of the day. Spirit told me to come, so I came, and it was already morning, so I knew that I'd be pushing it, but it's okay. But overall, if you are planning to come, most people plan to come ahead of time because they have to pay, right? But I'm a resident, so I can just come in for a minute and leave because it's free. Gratis para mí. <laughs> okay, want to see what that was about? Nothing much. Oh, look, you can see the stones in there. Yeah, the city did extend this far. They just haven't gotten under the rubble yet. So I just wanted to see how far it extends. So he just said that next year you're not going to be able to climb the ruins here anymore. So 
I'm going to make the most of this. I actually have some really great pictures here at Balam, so I'm really excited about the fact that I had this opportunity. It's really a gorgeous place to be and a very sacred place to be. You see I'm melting. I'm keeping it all the way real here for you. Like you have got, I have a, sp a spray bottle too, so I guess. Pyramids, pyramids, as far as the eyes can see. This is an entire city, so in those trees are more pyramids, more structures that are still being uncovered for miles. It really can stimulate the imagination. It's very easy for me to put myself in an ancient scene. So here we are, just at the entrance, and they have these significant reliefs. That symbolizes the tongue of the cobra. You see the way it's shaped? Yeah. I think it's so beautiful. Okay. Let's go. I'm just going to hold it up because I feel like I can. I'm not afraid anymore. I, so I'm going to use one hand to film and the other to climb. <clears throat> okay. This is what it looks like. Look here. That's how far up we are. Okay. It's not a joke. It's not a game. Oh yes, this is my favorite part. The tomb. Let me show you. Yes, so for those who do not know, um, Ma'at in Mariposa Ma'at is an ancient Egyptian goddess, a Kemetic goddess. And so, um, of course, ancient Egypt also had pyramids. So being on this pyramid here, for me, is very meaningful because I have had past life regressions where I lived in a place that looked just like this. So it's pretty amazing to me, and I feel very connected to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And this is where we are. So yes, this is actually a king's tomb. And I am not going to make this video like really scholarly where I give you like all the details because they're in my other video. And so I will just attach that into the description if you want to have more information. Because this was more for the feeling today. For me, just being in the jungle is very valuable. So I really appreciate it. It's like much better than going to a park. Right? I wonder what that hole in the middle is. They've developed this also. It looks much nicer than it did before. But yeah.
the artisans did such a great job recreating this when i first saw it i it i really did not process that okay, the tackles. artists actually made that 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 the wasn't exactly how they found it right but they did a great high. job it looks amazing time to take it higher baby let's go Woo -woo. actually let's see what's on the other side there's another side now that they've developed mm -mm -mm. this side what's over here the last time i came they had developed it a little but i see more is more has happened so let's see <clears throat> a todo madre So this is how far we are above the canopy. And this is how much further I have to go. I made it. I'm here. But look at there. That's gorgeous, right? Oh my God, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm here, bitches. No, I'm sorry, Lov lovelies. I don't need to call you bitches. I'm gonna stop. <sighs> Child of the sun, baby. Let me put on my wings. There's the pyramid there. Oh. I have to make my way down. What's the bar? Rocking the halo. Rocking the halo. What's the bar? Butterflies. It's full of butterflies here. Butterflies, butterflies. And don't those birds sound lovely? It was a beautiful day taking in that Yucatan sun is no joke. But yeah, I just really took it all in. And it was very magical to have my wings. A very unforgettable experience. And to think soon people won't be able to walk on these anymore. Huh. I'll be able to show my progeny. And so before I left, I took a grand walk down the pyramid. I had some wonderful stranger film it for me. And it was epic. So thank you, Kaleisco Planet. If you haven't been to Ekbalam, now is the time to come so you can climb it before they close it next year so thank you so much for sharing this beautiful experience with me this is many posts of maat reminding you to continue to embody the sacred transformation until next time peace